my name is Katie and today I'm doing Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Laney and is now hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. I will link all of their channels as well as the Goodreads group down below. The topic for today is books that you feel differently about. For this, this might be books that you originally loved right after you've, you've read them, but now you kind of lowered your rating after sitting on it for a while, or vice versa. Just the books that you feel differently about from when you finish the book. Now I want to disclaimer this hardcore, even though I'll probably reiterate it, but I still enjoy most of the books that I put on this list. I just do not enjoy them as much as I initially did. That being said, that doesn't mean that they're bad books, it's just after a while, after I had time to sit on my feelings for them, I ended up lowering the rating or feeling a little differently about them. First up here I have the Burn for Burn trilogy by Jenny Han. I initially adored this book as well as the second one. I think I gave them both like 4 out of 5 stars initially. I ended up lowering my rating to three out of five stars after I read the after I sat on these for a while and read the last one ashes to ashes which I gave a two out of five stars I just in the whirlwind of Jenny Han's writing which I adore I liked these plots a lot but then after thinking about it I was kind of like oh that wasn't that good oh that wasn't that good and I actually expressed my feelings in a review for this trilogy if you're interested in that go check it out but yes these are fun and fluffy, but they're also very stereotypical, and some parts are just not as good as I originally thought. The next book I have here is Good Old Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Now, as I feel like this is going to be a very common one for this topic, but I read Twilight in my early high school days. I was the right age. I just absolutely adored it. I believe I, you know, it was everything. I, do you understand me? It was everything. And I still believe I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars on my Goodreads. I, I believe I have not officially lowered my rating on Goodreads, and I don't know if I'm going to, but now that I'm an adult and older, I understand the problems with this book and my feelings have shifted a little more towards liking it for nostalgia's sake versus liking it for the plot's sake. I hope that makes sense. Twilight, I feel differently for now that I'm adult and I think that's a perfectly valid thing to feel. Next on here is like a pretty bizarre one. I read City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Read City of Acids, gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read City of Glass, which was such an improvement in my opinion over the first two so I lowered City of Bones and City of Ashes to three stars to give City of Glass a five star book because there was such a shift in my enjoyment for them I felt like these two had to be lower so I could rate this one like fairly as a five star have you guys ever done that I don't know if that makes any sense I still enjoy the Mortal Instruments series I do City of Glass is my freaking favorite one. I loved it so much and I just felt like I had to, the, the first two were not up to par that City of Glass was so I had to make the gap a little bit wider. Next up here I have a pretty controversial pick and that is Saga Volumes 1 and 2 which are the only two that I have read by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. I initially gave both of these 5 out of 5 stars. I think it was the hype and everyone was loving it and the art is beautiful, but I I do not feel like recontinuing on with the series and even though I think the first two were fantastic, I just don't have that motivation to pick up the rest of the series. But I do think that the hype and the beautifulness of how it looked kind of tainted my view. The story was fun, but it, I wasn't blown out of this world, and I don't know if I'm going to be continuing on. My next one on here is one of my favorite authors from one of my favorite series, and it is A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin. This is the fourth book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. When I finished this one, it was just like, George R. R. Martin, five out of five stars, automatic, da 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 da. And I still think it is an excellent book. It is definitely my least favorite of the series so far, but I feel like I 
right immediately after I was just so overwhelmed by all the information that we got that I was just like oh god five out of five stars because it's George but looking back on it I might have given it like a 4.5 out of five stars just because some of the parts were just like Ugh. if you know what I mean I don't know if that sound I made made any sense but yeah so I think that's one that I definitely feel a little differently towards now that more books in the series have come out I still absolutely adore it but my feelings have changed those are my top five Wednesday picks for today I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon with another video soon goodbye make you lose control